Hey, hey, Tony Gaston here. Now, listen. Now, what you have to understand about the Jezebel spirit is the Jezebel spirit is it's honest. It's, it's very close to what people and this why this why it's the pot calling the kettle black, because the Jezebel spirit in the spiritual world is will be a lot like what the clinicians call a narcissist. The Jezebel spirit will be nearly identical, but you got to realize is a clinician who come up with the term narcissist is not going to use a spiritual term. So they pull it from Greek mythology to term it that. But what you have to realize and understand is Jezebel projection and the Jezebel spirit is in men and women. So what this Jezebel projection is, is the Jezebel spirit will project onto you what it is feeling and suffering from. Because the Jezebel spirit is a manipulative spirit and it understands the power of projection. Because it also understands the power of protection. But it also understands the power of deflection. So when you call out the Jezebel spirit, the Jezebel spirit will deflect that back to you. And then when you least expect it, the Jezebel spirit will project onto you. But the Jezebel spirit will also hide and emulate and pretend, but will not protect you. Here's what I mean by this. Have you ever had someone who... When you say, hey, we need to work on this, they say, no, we don't need to work on that. That's not true. That's what you be doing. So now they are deflecting. They deflecting. And then they will say to you something, you know, you always this or you always that or you're a narcissist or you're this or you're that. Now they are projecting. But when someone mentions your name, they could be your friend. They could be your family member. They could be a spectator. They could be a co-worker. They could be a spouse. They could be boyfriend girlfriend they won't protect you meaning someone is talking bad about you they'll chime in they'll chime in they'll be right there listening and supporting that's the jezebel spirit the jezebel spirit is a master of deflection and projection but also no protection. So you have to understand this and don't be confused. Don't be perplexed. And when you look around, you're going to see this spirit in men and in women. And you're going to see this spirit be very strong and very vocal. See, the thing about it is the Holy Spirit brings a strong confidence so those who are inhabited by the Holy Spirit are bold in their stance. They're bold in their walk. They're bold in their voice. So what the Jezebel spirit has to do is be equally as bold and equally as strong in their walk. The Jezebel, Jezebel spirit has to do that to appear equal to the Holy Spirit. But see, the Jezebel spirit is a seductive spirit. Whereas the Holy Spirit is 
can be an offensive spirit because it offends demons. See, the Holy Spirit, which came after Jesus left earth, also brings peace, but the Holy Spirit will rightly divide. So when the Holy Spirit enters the chat, the demons get their feathers ruffled. See, when the Holy Spirit enters the room, the Jezebel spirits, the seducing spirits. See, one thing about Jezebel spirits is they're going to be good. They're going to be equally as good with words as those who with the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit, though, only going to be able to hurt be heard by those who have a spiritual mind, those who are walking with the spirit. That's where the Holy Spirit will be heard. Now, those with a carnal mind, what a Jezebel spirit says will make more sense to them than what someone with the Holy Spirit says. So, when you allow the Holy Spirit to come in and inhabit you, you have to remember holistically the word of God. You have to remember that things of God will profound, will confound those who consider themselves wise. You have to remember that the things of God will be confusing and sound like foolishness to those who are not of God. Literally, those who are not of God will call the wisdom from God foolishness. They will literally call it foolishness. In a literal sense, I'm not speaking metaphorically. They will literally say, this is absurd. This is foolish. This makes no sense. Literally. That's what you have to understand. So what the Jezebel spirit does is the Jezebel spirit uses manipulation. And what some would call the Jedi mind trick. The Jezebel spirit will make you think you're wrong in your righteousness. The Jezebel spirit will try to convict your Holy Spirit to silence you, to shut you up, and to change you. See, what the Jezebel spirit is upset about, the Jezebel spirit is upset that you have a following, meaning you have a support group. Meaning, meaning when you go to work, people come to you for advice and they come to you with respect and they want to eat lunch with you. They want to hang out with you. They might want to come support your child at your child's game or recital. And that angers that Jezebel spirit. That Jezebel spirit is like, why do people like you? Why do people listen to you? Why do people support you? Why do people want to hear you? The Jezebel spirit is full of envy. See, the Jezebel spirit, that's why the Jezebel spirit will throw out the, the term narcissist so much. Because the Jezebel spirit is trying to deflect and trying to project that Jezebel spirit. So the only term that it knows is a narcissist, a narcissist. And the word is so weaponized that that's why the Jezebel spirit uses it so much. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Jezebel spirit, narcissist, 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 narcissist. It's the only word 
that the Jezebel spirit knows. And Jezebel spirit will use other clinical terms like triangulate and use other spirit uh, clinical terms. And they, they will use all of this to sound smart. See, this is the Jezebel spirit trying to seduce you. Get the little one to make you think that it's smart. Make you think that it's well read. Make you think that they know what they're talking about. All the fancy words. That's a Jezebel spirit. Be mindful of the projection of the Jezebel.